so what is the Pythagorean Theorem? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and the Pythagorean Theorem is one of the most popular and widely used theorems because, in part, it is pretty simple to remember, but the important thing is you need to know exactly how it is used and where it is used. Now, the Pythagorean Theorem was named after the Greek mathematician Pythagoras, and it's a right triangle exclusive in that it's a theorem that applies only to right triangles. Now, in a right triangle, you have the sides A, B, and C. Now, A and B are known as your legs. Those are sides that represent and support the right angle. And C is the side that's facing the right, ang right angle, known as the hypotenuse. So therefore, the formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared came about, but what that actually means here is the leg squared plus the leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. This is always true for right triangles, but for right triangles only. Now, here's a case in point as to how you want to use the theorem. Suppose you wanted to know what C is, and you're given that A is 3 and B is 4. Now, what you would do is just plug in those numbers back into the Pythagorean theorem, and this is what you have. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. Now, 3 squared is 9, plus 4 squared is 16, and that's equal to c squared. Now, obviously 9 and 16 is going to give you 25, is equal to c squared. And to solve for c, all you need to do is, using algebra, take the square root of both sides, and you'll get c equals to 5. So 5 is the missing hypotenuse. Now, if you, for whatever reason, were given the hypotenuse, you want to solve for one of the legs instead, just plug in the tried and true Pythagorean theorem, and as long as you plug in your numbers correctly, you will find the missing side. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that gives you an example as to what is the Pythagorean theorem.